It's been a while. It has. How I do this? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to remember how you introduced, but go ahead. Yeah. Like, all right. How you doing? Yeah, yeah we That's keeping all this in. Okay. Uh, what's happening, family? Welcome back to another episode of Let Us Tell It. I'm one of your hosts, Marcus Tanksley, a.k.a. Tank, and the other host is... Gooseberry. How y'all doing? Already. Mm -hmm. And if you're watching, you can already tell we got some beautiful young ladies with us today. We got the wives... Yes. Hello. And a baby. And a baby. And a baby. Well, mm -hmm. she, she's a regular. They, they expect to see her. <laughs> oh. So y'all want to introduce yourself? Go ahead, Melanie. I am Melanie, a.k.a. Mel, a.k.a. You've Got Mel, a.k.a. Mrs. Goosby. A.k.a. Uh, I'm not a lawyer, not but. A lawyer. Oh, hey. I'm that too. I'm not a lawyer. <laughs> you got celebrities up on here. Forgot too. about that. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what's up? I'm Angel, a.k.a. That Chick Angel, a.k.a. Angel the Raptress. Amen. <laughs> Give me one margarita, <laughs> and I'm going to be on your podcast. Uh, and, I am the <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the wife of Marcus Tanksley. Absolutely. Who, who's turned up? Was that you? Turned up? You can hear the volume from somebody's phone. Yeah. It don't matter. Anyway, if this is your first time tuning in, this is a podcast me and Goose do. And we use, that's Goose over there. Uh, we do... Talk about pretty much, we talk about a lot of stuff, but it's coming from a black man's point of view. That's why it's called Let Us Tell It. Yes. This is your first time. I don't know what took you so long. Hello. I know we was out, but we back now. We all mm -hmm. up in the building. Um, we can talk about why we was out. Yeah. Absolutely. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and kick it up. You want to kick it off with that? We Or oh, why we was out? Yeah. Uh, Yeah, we can do that. Also, you shouldn't have finished all the uh, catalog that we have because we have a catalog so uh, 57, almost. I think, uh, no, I think it's up to 60. 60, 60 episodes. episodes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so if, uh, we were missing. We were missing. <laughs> we were. We was out. We I know you ain't finished all 60 <laughs> episodes. So go back and watch all them episodes and whatever. Okay. Uh, we were out because these two are very busy. Hello. And no. they are yeah. on tour. Uh, I doing thought you was talking their, about them too. No, no, you too. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Was like, huh? The women be busy as hell. You know, <laughs> uh, being rap stars and entertainers. <laughs> and uh, I was on tour as well. That's with to I'm still on tour with Kev and Tony. And, uh, so you got the new merch on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I ran out of clothes to wear on podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm wearing the uh, merch. Uh, yeah, that's why we were out, literally. Um, and our time... We couldn't connect like that. So yeah, and also, if I didn't say this before, we have a catalog. <laughs> yeah, and you could binge that for a while. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so how was y'all summer? We could kick that off. And what what, what what what's on your chest from the summer? Mm. We usually start this off with get uh, getting something off my chest. That's something that's you know just getting on your nerves. Something you need to get off your chest or say. Mm. And we done had a, all of us done had a long ass summer yeah. yeah we have so what done went down what you gotta get off your chest mail um i actually i'm happy that you're saying this because i'm now reminded that we took a couple flights this summer a lot of flights this summer mm. and i have had the unfortunate luck of my seat not reclining oh and it's not like i'm at oh uh the emergency exit right my seat is broken so when mm. it reclines and then it slowly goes okay. back up. Mm -hmm. And so you're looking like, what? So then I recline it again, and then it slowly goes back up. And I, probably the last, let's call it eight, seven or eight flights, like five of them that has been the Oh, case. Lord. Oh, that's horrible. Throw mm -hmm. the plane away. I am yeah. so upset. So actually, I called Delta to ask them about this, also because I want some mileage. Come on. And um, <laughs> they redirected me, and I forgot that I, I need to call them back. I okay. got to call did the you, redirection. Did you let the flight attendant know? Yes, and they be like. You, you know how, how I know it's bullshit when you tell them something? Because they be like, okay, we'll tell the pilot. Yes. He don't care. He, don't care. he gonna come he back here with some screws. Reset and a, the button. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. No. <laughs> I don't. They be like, I'm, I'm so sorry. Mm. Is there anything else I can get? No, you haven't even gotten the one thing that I've asked you for. Right. A seat that works. So actually, I'm going to be reaching out to Delta. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's get, what I want to get, get your, off my chest. Get your mouth. Oh, you want to go to mama now? Oh, she won't this. Oh, she's the best. <laughs> or I the love worst. this baby. Or the worst. Never, never. <laughs> <clears throat> What's on my chest about this summer is that 
it has been a blur. Like, uh, you talk about flights. I feel like I've been in the air more than I have been on the ground. Oh, my. And the fact that I am just so ecstatic to get to regular school life with my mm-hmm. kids is a little yeah. crazy. Drop off. Yeah. <clears throat> Pick yeah. up kids next day. Drop off. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Pick up kids third day. Drop off. Shoot. Pick up kids. Yes. Because <laughs> it really has. Like I cannot believe we are towards the end of August. Oh, she won't go to mama. Oh well. Thank you for the time we had. <laughs> we shared so much time. She didn't want to go to nobody else. Man, Everybody just, else. Bro, quit bragging. No, I'm gonna brag. <clears throat> she didn't want to go to anybody she else. She was happy to see you. She saw you were so me late. and she moved her food out of her lap and put her arms straight up. So that makes all the flights worth it. I, you know what? I have nothing to get off my chest. <laughs> I'm amazing. <laughs> and is. And is. Yeah. And is. Oh, that is where. <clears throat> I'll add that. My kids, our sons, the twins, talk to McKinley every day. Oh, my. Every, every day. Day. My day. They are on um, the so iPads they, with each other. They get up. They brush their teeth. <laughs> they read because they got to read before they do anything. Amen. Right after that, at nine thirty, on the dot. Can McK- we call McKinley? <laughs> Can we call McKinley? Can we? Can we? And, and I meant because we. I wanted them to come to the house. I, I'm always trying to tell the Goosebies, drop them girls off <laughs> at my house, please. We do be telling them. And the first time I said it, I realized our the baby would have probably died in our house because it was a wreck. <laughs> Stuff was everywhere, and I was like, you know what? This actually isn't safe. Don't bring them today. And the next day, oh. I think we picked up a couple of no, items. When Angel put that out there. I was like, why you wouldn't? Why would you put somebody in this environment? I mean, if we had suitcases and everywhere, Micaiah would have survived. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she would have had to. She would have been in there. Right. I will survive. It was, it was pure. It would have been a war zone. She and so. Would. The next day, we might have cleaned up five items. And I was like, forget it. I still want them to come. And then they weren't able to come. So I, that's something that, that is, uh got me, uh, what is it, get, I need to get off my chest, yeah. is that the girls have not been over to the house. Mm. Please drop them off. Thank that you. Please. I need to. That was, uh, that will change. I guess I'll get this off my chest. So flights. Yes. I ain't even going to talk about the Canton one yet. We can talk about that during the show. <clears throat> Our first show coming back, from the month off we did the la show mm-hmm. and then we had a month off and then we did the indianapolis show and thank mm-hmm. y'all for being our special guest yeah, thanks that. For having yeah, that, us. Fine. that couldn't have amazing. gone any better with Such anybody a great time. it was the perfect it was, it was perfect. so good i felt am- it felt amazing <laughs> you, you you were we amazing do it again, man. you were amazing he was he was <laughs> Till that very good. end comment, I was like, "This every mother- to every, he can't help himself. He cannot help himself." It's like, no, oh, I love it. Anyway, uh, oh, so that that the right before that show, we took a flight. My area, just the area of my plane. So it was me. It was my row, the row over here, and the row in front of me, and across the aisle in front of them. Mm-hmm. It was freezing cold. Like, every flight attendant that walked by was like, oh, my God, it's so cold. I'm like, yes, we keep telling y'all. Yeah. We'll go tell the captain. I mean, it was like my arm was an icicle. You know, it's been hot all all across the United yes. States. Mm-hmm. I was like, don't turn no AC on. No. Don't turn nothing on because I am. Fr- I stayed cold for like a day and a half. That's it worst. was cold. That's just a worst. certain section of the plane was Just cold? that section. Because I was on the same plane in a different seat, and it wasn't that bad. And so right before we landed, it was like 20 minutes before landing. If you finally felt it warming up, there was like, oh, and then one walked past and was like, oh, they finally, he was finally able to do something, but we're about to land. Yeah, no, really? That made me sick. Uh, So Indianapolis show, I was sick because of that. uh, And Lexington. I lost my voice. Yeah, he didn't have no voice. Couldn't talk for a full day. Why did they? Why was it like that? I, they didn't. They don't. They don't know. They don't There's know. something about you, right. though, man. You'll be. Nah, they don't know. We'll be in here having the podcast, and you'll be like, "Yeah, man, you know." That happened one time, but both our eyes be running in here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's but you be there, losing man. your voice, man. For some that just started happening. I don't be losing my voice like it's that. Like Probably Ariel doing all these podcasts. Sorry, straining your voice. Yeah, Whoosh. goose. I got three podcasts I do. Exactly. Oh, okay. That might be it. <laughs> he said, oh, all right. Let cool. me tell y'all what I need to get off my chest. These baby shoes. Okay. Putting on baby shoes. I was about that yesterday. I be about to break this girl ankle. <laughs> oh, <Yeah>. no. <laughs> I hate putting on these shoes. Oh, no. All the baby shoes need to have 
the zipper on it that opens half of the shoe. Mm-hmm. So yeah. you That's just smart. slide they foot in. Yeah, yeah. Because Makai, I'm like, push, baby. She just like, yeah. 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 I remember just, that. You afraid you're going to snatch a toe off man. or something, pinky toe. It took me forever. This morning. That's why she got these on. The little jellies. I Goose, couldn't get come the other out with shoes. some girl shoes that I'm zipping. Don't encourage him because he will have it. Yeah. You have, have a mold. Next week. Okay. I love it. You have Show a mold them. for making shoes. Yeah, literally. <laughs> because I tried to do some, invent something else and I found a plastic molding company and they molded a workout situation for me mm-hmm. and it's interesting so yeah that might be oh lord the <laughs> whole half of the why? shoe the yeah. make a little slip or either one that like zipping around the bottom where you uh you put the shoe the oh, just the top part and then talk, zipping the sole that's a great idea. Talk, call your baby line daddy goose mm. daddy mm-hmm. goose <laughs> <laughs> and then the picture goose. be the goose yeah it's a bird holding baby goose oh. well, yeah holding the baby in the stroller he have a little beard <laughs> a beard. Good, good. That'll work. Oh Lord. He said that'll stay, work. I love it. Stay tuned. Let me also get this off my chest. Oh, These delays in airline flights. Ooh, we, Jesus. We've what three, four? I think it's four flights. We've missed our connections mm-hmm. and had to. I'm the tour manager, so I, now I have to have I have to find flights for everybody to catch so we can get to the shows on time. So Delta has had delays. American United. I mean, delay after delay. Then we have uh, the transit van at the airport waiting for us, right? Oh, so if you yeah. don't cancel it within four <laughs> hours, they charge you whatever fee that you paid. Mm-hmm. And then if you come later, they charge you, a, like, they don't yeah, discount they don't it or anything. Like, no. So if it costs $250, you miss that delayed flight, and it's not your fault. You pay that two fifty, and then you tell them, "Hey, we're gonna be there in two more hours." They're like, "Cool." They charge you another two fifty. What's crazy is about that, that is I remember you talking about that uh, for one of the other tours, and y'all had multiple people coming in from different cities. Yep. Having to go back and do all that for everybody, I was like, "That's why yeah, you ain't got no hair." That's, <laughs> that's stressful ah, ass. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, yeah, Goose, man. we didn't have no tour manager for our tour, so let me she tell you. She was tour you, manager. Let mm. me tell you how I appreciate what you do. <laughs> ah, thank you. Because you talk about just, I was like, this is a lot to have to think to about. The venues. <laughs> the flights, the hotels. Oh, I was doing all of the things. Oh, I was man. like, and there will be times where I'd be like, I got us arriving on the wrong day. Let me go change. <laughs> let me go change the thing. Or, oh, you know what? We don't even have a flight. Hold on. Let me get us <laughs> to the place that we supposed to be going. Oh. So we was landed. Uh, this is, we was just, we had just finished New York. Mm. We in New York. And we was flying out to go to Atlanta the next day because we had a show that next day. Yep. We laying there, uh, we, you know, it's, we still up, but in the bed doing stuff, right, zipping in the suitcases and stuff. She goes, oh, no. No. I said, what? Our flight is canceled. Oh, no. Goodness gracious. Yes. As soon as she said it, I jump on Enterprise. First, I uh, uh, Google map, how long how of a long? drive? 13 mm-hmm. hours. Bet. From We're going to get on the road Atlanta. right now. That's what I'm already on that step. She's trying to find another flight. Mm. I done already. I reserved a vehicle in the, I reserved a Suburban. We going to oh. be driving. She ended up finding a flight. But when I tell you, we were setting, you know how you got the all the way and then you got the bathroom and the, where the flight attendants be fixing the food. We were sitting behind that. <laughs> That's oh. what it felt like. We <laughs> were in the like engine. We, it felt like we was on the tail wing. Like, uh, and actually, I, I didn't find a flight. Plane. I didn't find a flight. I had to call Delta. I stayed on, <laughs> I stayed on hold for a while. And a woman, the woman there found three seats. She figured out a way to finagle us on a, the next flight out. Because if not, we would have to drive to Baltimore, catch a flight from Baltimore oh, to get us. Goodness. It was just, it was a lot. I was like, all right, we're going to get there at uh, 1038. That's what I was like. We drive right now. We can get <laughs> we there at 1038 a.m. I can sleep for five hours, get up, get ready for the show. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> 13 hours. 13 hours. <laughs> then we get to Atlanta. Rooms ain't ready. Oh, that's the worst. Mm. We were it was a place. <laughs> Well, did, did. smile on my face nowhere, and we and went now, off in the hood. No, they gave us a room. They gave Victory yeah. her room. Well, mm. no, you asked them. You said, "Is this a a king or?" No, said they it's said a it's a double. It's a double bed, and we were we like, was "Oh, like, perfect. Oh, cool. we can we'll do... all go in there. Yeah. She'll sleep on her bed. We'll sleep on the other bed until our room is ready." Yeah. We go in there. There's one room. There's one uh, bed, and not only that, the room had not been cleaned. 
She was like, yeah. there what? is, she said, there's there's food in the trash can. Oh, there's my stuff. goodness. So then she got kicked out of her room and had to wait in the lobby. You had dirty That's booty right. sheets. This dirty. was because I went with the I went with the hotel ah. the club recommended, and usually I don't oh. do that. Usually I pick out the hotel based off the reviews. Mm-hmm. I've learned that in my old age I've become very bougie. Hello. So <laughs> if it's not, usually I'll be like, it's got to be closer to a four star yeah, than 100%. a three star. This was the two and a half, oh, nah. three star at most. We seen a dude. We <laughs> walk in the hotel. Dude getting out the elevator with his hired. Entertainment. Oh, yes. <laughs> and she like, was, hey. was like, she was not like, in her prime either. I said, <laughs> Oh, this baby been doing nah, this she for came, a while. She came out of retirement for the third time. Yes, I said. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. So, Dang. Uh, so I don't know if y'all know. We know it because we all are watched and entertained by it. I'm not a lawyer, but oh mm-hmm. lord, I'm not. Amen. Hey. I am not. <laughs> I have wanted to talk about. Have you the Trump Rico charges? Oh yes, Trump <laughs> Trump got rapper charges. <laughs> he, he is got, he is straight he up. The same, the same DA that yes charged Young Thug charged Young Thug also charged Donald Trump. It's you great. You can tell she had about that. So, <laughs> I've been uh, keeping trying to keep up with everything, and I've noticed all the judges, all the prosecutors, everybody dealing with anything dealing with Trump. Is black. It, oh well, in Atlanta for sure. Oh. She's like this because it's black Atlanta. Women. No, there's one judge that uh, where's she at? In D.C. There's one. There's another one because mm-hmm. you know he got like I think it's up total to like sixty some charges at this point. It's thirty eight. Ninety one total. 91 wow. Ninety one. This man is a professional <laughs> <He> criminal. Is, <laughs> is a legit criminal. And every time she said, uh, I find out something new, I be like I. I didn't know all this was happening. Listen, I think I thought I didn't. Uh, it's your show. I, don't let me interrupt. No, go ahead. Don't talk. Okay. I think I, just I need you thought. Talk that mic, though. Okay, I think I thought <laughs> that Trump is like was doing things like in a silly manner. Like he's like he's just silly, right? And so uh-huh. he was like. Oh my gosh! I didn't realize I wasn't supposed to do this. Like mm-hmm. I thought it was something it, like out of ignorance. Yeah, yeah. kind of like he, he just dumb and silly. Right, and right. And then when you read the documents and realize how intentional he actually was, that's a great yeah. way to put it. That's it's surprising. It's like oh wait wait wait, this was done like mm-hmm. as a plan. Like this yeah. was, and I'm always so surprised. Yeah. What's crazy is you would think somebody as crooked as him would be careful of what he said on the phone that and in, in rooms while being recorded. Yes. Well, it's the audacity. This is a man who had no business no being business. in the office of nah. president. Zero. That shows you so, how jacked up uh, the United States is. <laughs> so to, you, to have that type of confidence Bye. to be like, I'm going to run for president and then actually win. And then win. You you really have to believe uh, that a lot of rules don't apply to you. Yes. Mm-hmm. And I think yes. that's how you end up just blatantly and out loud committing crimes. 100%. Because you're just like, the rules that y'all live by ain't got nothing to do with me. Those don't apply to me. Right, right. I ain't never been in an office of government. I barely run none. my businesses. But I can run the 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 entire the most powerful right. nation in the world, literally. Because then what, what happened is them people, them MAGA people, uh-huh. said, "Oh, well, he's a wealthy man. Yes, he knows business. He's he don't. Business he was man. born rich. Yes, he was given money to start oh these businesses. Yes, and y'all think he can run a country? No. What's even worse is the goddamn government let that happen. Let it." And what I, because, you know, I, I follow enough uh, conservatives because I'll be wanting to know what they're saying. <laughs> and right now their thought is, okay, if they, they are so, you know, the liberals are so hell bent on taking this man down. You all need to see this is this. There's something that they are mm-hmm. trying to, to hide. hide. Yeah. Mm. If they're putting this much effort <laughs> yes. in taking down this one man, these people would vote for him again with 100%. all of these charges. Yes, all absolutely. Of it. Well, and that's the, what's going to happen. What's so <laughs> crazy is so I post these videos, whatever, and everybody, all the conservatives are in the comments like, why don't you make a video on uh, Hunter Biden? So I, at first I was like, I'm not doing that. He's not even the president. I don't understand why you guys don't see the con- like Trump was the president. Hunter Biden is the son of the president. 
regardless, the other day I was like, okay, let me actually read Hunter's charges and like really get an understanding because I've just been ignoring it this whole time. In the middle of reading Hunter's charges and all of his documents, another indictment for Trump comes out. <laughs> Live. <laughs> so I was like, uh, I can't even get through clearly, Hunter's documents. Clearly God's like, no, no, no. Because here. here's another one for Trump. Right. I was like, okay, forget. I, eventually, maybe I'll read into Hunter's, but everything I was reading anyway was not nearly as interesting. Like, okay, he was on drugs and like, he didn't right. pay his taxes. Like, literally, that's yeah, what it that's, goes. And then he had a gun. Snipes. Okay, like, <laughs> Damn, uh, <that> is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we get it. Like, okay, cool. But Trump charge. has done way more than black women that he was harassing in Atlanta. Yeah. Child, I had no idea. Wow. Yeah. Well, the, the crazy part about this, though, is is it that easy to rig an election the way they said these women did it? And if so, have they been doing this? But the how, entire time. How? What did they do? Tell me how they rigged it. So <clears throat> his claim against her name is Ruby Freeman and her daughter, uh, Shay Moss. He says, and the video that he then circulated around the Internet that went viral with all the conservatives, that she had a suitcase underneath the table that she pulled out. And then was a uh, double count, or actually three times counting triple the time that she should have the same votes. So she was able, according to him, she is responsible for 18,000 additional votes going to Biden than should have been because she took one vote and counted it three times. Okay, so does, does it does Where's in Georgia calculator? they don't do? <laughs> <clears throat> Where's my? You know how often you got to do that to total up to 18,000. In Georgia they don't do. Uh, the uh, ballots aren't counted electronically. Uh, actually, I th so I think what the claim I don't know I cannot not answer that. Mm -hmm. It seemed as though though she was as as though though she would like you in you put a slip inside mm -hmm. of something and then put it in again and again, which is bullshit. So this this is, this is what I okay. say like <clears throat> I don't I can't attest to how Georgia's voting yeah. uh, is because I've never voted there, but obviously I voted in every single election so I can you, vote in. Yes, it was electronic. Yes, when I did it. So when you vote, <clears throat> your ballot has its own personal ID, kind of like a social security card. Mm -hmm. And once it's uh, here in California, it's scanned first before you even vote mm -hmm. to make sure it is an yes. actual You're right. unused ballot. After you vote, it prints it out so that you can see it and make sure your thing still looks right and that mm -hmm. what you actually input it is what is on your ballot. Yes. Then you have to scan it in again. And the fact of the matter is you cannot rescan a, a ballot that like the, so if, I, if they print it out, when I rescan it for it to be counted, it has to match the identification of the original ballot that I scanned. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yes. But hold on, because your perspective is from a person voting, and these are the um, registers, right? So mm -hmm. these, she wasn't voting. She right. She is, was sick. But how? That's even if I give it, even if I had to, because sometimes machines act up, right? Hundred percent. If I give it to someone, uh huh. The when it when it goes in, it has to be the match yes. whatever yes. I voted as. You get yes. what I'm saying? Yes. It has to match yes. my identification. So yes. how would she be able? So this is that's my question. How would she be able to one match my identity in the uh, my identity to my ballot yes. fast enough and then switch it and over to somebody else? Th this is the, oh uh -huh. go ahead. No, this is how I know <laughs> that like what he's saying is coming from somebody of low IQ. Mm -hmm. That is low level technology oh my God. to prevent something like that. You can't even this the parking passes we use to get in here. The right. parking card. Yes. You can't exit twice. You can't even exit twice. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I know that's good. the technology yeah. <laughs> that goes into this is like, well, let's just scan it again. It's gonna be like, no, you didn't already yes. vote it. Yes. <laughs> well, they also have a charge though for tampering with the um, voting machines because mm -hmm. that they said that those were also rigged. That's what Trump right. and his team. So then so, they mm -hmm. illegally. So these women are NASA. They it. they uh, hidden figures. They and was it, able to. <laughs> they was able to recalibrate the, the machine. Meanwhile, yeah. <laughs> the state of Georgia literally is like, hey, the video that you are referencing, we looked at it. What you're saying is not true. Like literally, they're like, it's not true, and he's like. It is. <laughs> and I'm going to go do a speech today and I'm going to tell everybody that. It, and then I'm going to tweet. Nah. He was tweeting 
their names, their wow, literal names mm-hmm. at, at uh, on Twitter and saying their names in speeches and all of that. And so what happens is all of his fans, mm-hmm. of course, look her up, get her information. They start harassing her. They start mm-hmm. calling her. They show up at her house, banging on her door, harassing her kids at school. Like it was a full. So she ends up calling the police repeatedly because she's terrified. Right. And then Trump's actual team then start showing up to her house saying we can give you protection, but you basically have to admit that you did oh this voter fraud. Oh my and this is gosh! In Atlanta, in Atlanta. and so they're like, Atlanta can but we didn't. State. We didn't do Don't this. It house. would be he <laughs> would it would have been an easier claim had he said they suppressed votes or got rid of. Yes. Uh, but to say that I, you yes. switch people, that's when you like okay, y'all just making up You're anything. Making it up. When Trump, when yeah, Trump, they were saying he they were using dead people's addresses, yes. dead people's names, all type. And of stuff. And on like the that. call, they're they're literally like, we understand what you're saying. It's not true. Can you give us anything? We'll send you what we got, but just know that it's true. And they're like, it's it's not true. You got to stop saying it. No, I won't stop saying it. When when Trump says stuff like this, so anytime he tries to prove or say this is how this happened, he reminds me of like the Looney Tunes coyote. Like he's pulling out stuff mm-hmm. from the Acme bag. 100%. Like this is what they do. Yes. <laughs> just like none of it. Is, when I hear this stuff, and I'm like, you know how easy it is to disprove what you're saying right now? Did they request the recount in Georgia? Yes. Yeah. Oh, they did. did. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Well, then they, I mean, there you have it. Then. Yes. No. That that's he what held refused. up the goddamn yes. election. Mm. He was like, and then was try it, again. Uh, it's just do it again. And they were like, we did it. And what, it's not. It's and, you don't have the vote. And then they recounted. Uh, what county was it <clears throat> in Georgia? That's like heavily black populated, and that's what like shot it over <laughs> what it originally oh, was. Fulton, it had to be Fulton. Was it Fulton? Yeah, it, it was like, oh, we forgot Fulton. We didn't even include that. Throw it in there. Now you lost by even more. <laughs> He's an idiot. He's an absolute yeah. idiot. And understanding the plan that they had has just completely been enlightening to me. I'm all in. I am all in on Trump's drama. Like, oh wow, this all of this was happening. I had no idea. Yeah, that's so crazy. <laughs> That's I want to see if this man is going to get away with it and still become president. He ain't going to become president. Because he's running. The thing about it is, so far, none of the charges that he has been charged with would prevent him from actually being running. elected should the votes go his way. I think the only thing that would... He could still... I think he would probably still run. I don't know if he would get the support of the Republican office. The fact that his VP yeah. has already turned on him. Everybody. Mike Pence... Yeah. I think he would have to run under a different party, which he could yeah. do, but I don't think it would be as successful. I do believe that a part of his success, I can't give Trump all of the credit. A part of his success was that he did get that party to buy into yeah. him. And yeah. having these people who do have a lot of political um, history as far as in their career, like putting their stamp of, stamp of approval helps to get these people in these, uh, yeah. you know, smaller rural country, right. uh, counties where they've elected these senators and elected all these people to be like, okay, if yeah. all of those people start turning their back on him, I think it is while he'll still have a strong, loyal fan base, yeah. I think it will make it very difficult. And then it would split the Republican Party yeah, because yeah. it's yeah. only going to be conservatives <laughs> that are moving their vote over to Trump. Yeah. yeah, so the thing, like, when people voted for him the first time, they're like, Okay, let, let's just see what happened. I got money. Mm. These Democrats is coming in, taking my money. I got to pay a higher tax, you know, tax rate. I need this. Mm. The people with money that got some sense ain't going to vote for Trump again. Sure. Mm. Also, who, what team is going to work around him? Everybody that works with yes. you don't went to jail or got a charge or yes. damn near went to jail. Yes. How you going to get somebody to how you who's going to support you with this? Uh, yes. If everybody that w- that helped Kev on tour Got a charge? Would you be helping? <laughs> Greg would be like, "That's that's the end of my tour managing." I'm out. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He, he can say he can run, he can do all of that, but there is no way he won't have the support. He even we'll like see. you still have the MAGA people, but there's believe it or not, there's a lot more intelligent racist people than there are <laughs> unintelligent that. racist yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and a lot of people are are. I do agree. They're like. This ain't this ain't this ain't what I thought. Right. Yeah. I I just I don't I really with as, as soon as I saw Mike Pence oh, start man. talking about he was like <laughs> Mike toy. I Damn. said, "Oh, that's it." Because Mike really was like to like really solidify that oh, he's 
Trump was chosen by God. He's the Christian president. That was really Mike's like, yeah. you know, his little the mm. little bit of his uh what you call it swag rubbing off on him because he is a very much so a conservative conservative Christian based type of yeah. politician that, you know, especially white people be like, Yeah, you know the Lord. Mm-hmm. And then once you say, hey, you didn't turn your back on the democracy and you put yourself yeah. over the democracy, these these yeah. veterans don't want to mess What's crazy is people didn't even realize what Mike Pence sound like until that moment. Because he ain't said nothing. The whole mm-hmm. time Trump was in pro- office, Mike ain't said <laughs> nothing. Then he said, no, he did that. <laughs> <laughs> he was sitting there uh, telling on Trump. <laughs> yeah. Uh, As he should have. It took a while. Yeah. But finally he got some sense. Mm-hmm. A little bit. Yeah, Lee. Yeah. Ain't nobody respecting the U.S. No. Nah. You can't. No, you, we look like fools over here. Absolutely. How, what? It's, it'd be better it's if it was a dictatorship, just somebody in charge that nobody could do anything about yes. versus, no, y'all supported this fool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Listen, but that's what Trump thought he had was a dictatorship. He's yeah. like, I am the president. Why are y'all telling me what I can and can't do? That's stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. It's, I am the boss. I do what I want. So <laughs> moving on. Uh, Goose, you had the one thing I wanted to hit on just a little bit was you had California flooding. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I was looking up just crazy things that have happened in 2023 so far. And it's just been a lot of things that have just been popping off in 2003. And it was the flooding. One of them were we had all that rain at the beginning of the year. At the beginning of the year. I mean, every it was. You know, terrible. I, I seen a post. Uh, what's his name? Minx posted this dude. I follow. We actually used to be neighbors. He said, "If we not in the next version of the Bible, I don't know what else could be." <laughs> so from the pandemic, everything, everything. done went down. But I was telling Goose, you know, I'm a bit of a geek, and I be following like weather patterns and stuff. So it's, uh, apparently, they're expecting another El Nino to happen oh. this winter. And that's gonna cause another lot, a lot of rain for California. We gonna be cold again? No oh, way. Wow. I don't know if it's gonna be cold. Usually El Nino is hot and wet, but I don't oh. know. I don't know. Um, but California, they said from like November to February, it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be wet. raining again. I don't b- too much mind the the rain. It was all the sink like the sinkholes that started happening. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That I don't like at all because I'm like my truck is heavy. That thing is not, they ain't going to be able to pull that <laughs> yeah. thing up out of there. And I got a lot of kids that I would have to get out the car. That's one that's in a car seat. All them children. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh-uh. And this big mother. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right. What about a thousand, two thousand. <laughs> <man, laughs> it is. Extra. <laughs> extra pounds. This weight just going over the. <laughs> you don't mind the rain, though? Not as much. I mean, I hate Can that the people don't know how to drive in the rain. Oh. Um, but no, I really don't because I do also enjoy being at home. So the rain just encourages uh, me to stay get home. inside the house. Yeah, I don't true. mind the rain. I actually enjoy it just because it be so dry out here. So when mm-hmm. it's rain, I I go sit in the garage and just let it up and just watch it rain. It just be relaxing Very, to me. That's so country. That's so country. It, it is. is but I like it. Ever. At my pops house, when it, it rain, he be out, he be in the garage. Just sitting there, look, it's yep. just out looking at the rain. Yeah, just look at it. <laughs> look at my foot going. Yeah. On the weekend, I grab my burger. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'm going to come over, come man. Through, if it start man. raining, yeah. we'll be there no, together. Just go yeah. I hate the rain men. so far, though. Yeah, two old black men. Yeah. 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 Bring come on, a too. They be in there, And in, there, in the garage, you can hear them running around upstairs. Yeah. So. Yeah. See? That's why Y'all I'm better here. not be in that toilet. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm here. Uh, I don't like the rain in the house that we're in because the backyard drain. Ah. Uh, uh, is full with roots and oh. and sand. So when it starts raining, literally the water puddles up mm-hmm. all the way to the door. Oh wow! And I call the landlord. I'm like, hey, and I show him a video. I, I, I'm just letting you know your house is about to flood. You might need to get somebody out here. Yeah. And he does not come on time, but he does send a plumber, and the plumber's like, man, we got to yeah. dig this pipe up because the, there's yeah. a tree, and the tree roots is all through. Mm-hmm. It. So every night. That during that time it'll be raining. Why don't they just French drain it? Like it don't make no sense. It's too many roots in there. It could No, I'm saying cut all of that up. Pour in gravel to the street and the rain the water will find its way to that and just drain out. It's cheaper for him. It'd be cheaper for him versus trying to do something to the pipe. Shut up. I know you about to say something. No. (laughs) (laughs) The way the elevation is, 
Oh, they won't higher. be able. Yeah, it's higher. So the drain is underneath the concrete, and the 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 concrete is is on a slope like this. Oh. Mm-hmm. So the drain you're trying to do won't even work because it's it's too high. So the drain underneath is they would have to dig it up like they were talking about mm-hmm. and replace the drain or cut the concrete down mm-hmm. so and it can, slope it so yeah. it can flow yeah. out of the backyard. But the whole backyard, our be, house is a pool. Used to do that. On that one side, yeah, we had it's a dog run on one, on one side. side. Oh, on our, at our old house, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Out of the old house, it was. I mean, it I would put be on like boots, a little pool like with on them the side of the and it would like be up almost spilling into them. So, to your point, sinkholes. I'm like, man, this ground probably moist as hell from yeah. all this rain. Mm-hmm. My neighbor behind the house was like, hey, do you have a water leak or something? Because the our retaining wall is coming through. It's still water coming through. Well, I'm like, man, the water's off. So he, he yeah. better do something because he's going to end up having to pay for stuff, y'all stuff, their stuff. Well, I don't want nothing to happen while I'm in there sleep. Right. Because, you know, Mel ain't about to do nothing. You just, <laughs> I'm just going to be in there. <laughs> tank. I need a bucket. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. Greg be stressed. I'll be like, uh, break it down gonna to me. We're going to put some pumps over I'm not a lawyer, yeah, but tell me. Exactly. We're going to exactly. do that. No, we're going to make that some content. Need, yeah, I need some stuff. Like, I'm not a contractor, but <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> you tell me. She's going she to do a look. I'm not a lawyer, but. By code so and so five zero three six seven, you, know, seven, you need to do something. Because I be confused. <laughs> he be trying to tell me, and I don't, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, that's what Angel's about to look at. You. That's why she was looking about that uh trench drain. No, that I knew oh, that the that French slope. drain. Yeah, and you she did was like, know that. I was like, oh, oh you, you did know. I knew that y'all backyard was on a slope, so it made sense why it was flooding to y- their y'all's door. But usually, if it's on a slope high, it they keep that slope going to the front. So we can naturally yeah, but it's, drain m- out. It's stop the front is blocked by the house. No, it goes. It's, never mind. I know you wanted to redirect to the out. sides. Yeah. I know what you meant. Okay. I'm not. <laughs> ten fold, ten fold. Ten I was listening, leave, taking leave, in the information. Leave it right along. <laughs> moving, moving, moving right along. But 2023 yeah. has been crazy mm-hmm. to me. Uh, well, it ain't crazy. It's just a lot of things have popped off, like yeah. uh, uh, Chat GPT. Oh, yeah. uh-huh. that that came out November 2022, but okay. that's close enough to 23. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That came out and people are using it to do all everything. Type Have of y'all stuff. used it? Yes. It's a, yeah. I, you know, I, like I haven't it? used it in a while, but you would be amazed at once you figure out how it can be useful, like how it. So, for instance, because uh, <laughs> podcast. <laughs> that's the baby. That's the baby. I love the baby. <laughs> Podcast advertising went down. Mm-hmm. We could no longer afford to keep our producer for, is this going to cause an argument? And we had both, I had produced the first maybe four years of, is this going to cause an argument? He did like a year and a half of producing. So we were kind of tapped out. And I was like, huh, I wonder if chat GPT can help me with this. And it did. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not only that, I'm uh, pitching a show right now, a reality TV show. Uh-huh. And, um, we needed to do a beat, like a like. What are the beats yep. of the show? And we knew what show we were loosely basing it off of. And I was like, "How many beats does that show have?" Chat GPT broke that show what? down perfectly, so we knew. Oh, we thought we needed three beats. We yeah. actually needed eight. So we were able to formulate. Oh, fascinating. So in a, what I feel like makes it better than Google, a lot of times Google tries its best to give you the information that you're asking for, but yeah. a lot of times it's so like vague that it's not really giving you what you want. Chat GPT has a better understanding of the actual nuances of your question. Yeah, yeah. So, no, it's... Fascinating. Uh, yeah, it is. It really is. Once you know how to use, use it... it. I've used it. Uh, my girlfriend's birthday came up. She was uh, her forty third, and I was like, "Ooh, what's a good gift?" I asked. I uh. said, "I need a gift idea for a, a woman living in Ca- Los Angeles, California, who's mm. black, who uh, suffers from ADHD, and, um, and, and there was another like uh, little thing that I put uh-huh. on it." Gave me great ideas. Oh my goodness! You know yeah. what, what's crazy is like the whole chat BGT, G- GPT, GPT, whatever it is, <laughs> and AI. That's what happens when the pendulum keeps swinging mm-hmm. because we've been using AI mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Siri is AI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> on a lot of vehicles, you know how you're going down the road and it'll like keep you in the lane. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Been around for a while now. Yep, yep, yep. That's technically all it is is sensors. Yeah. And it's like keeps track of what doesn't happen and what mm. needs to happen. Mm. And now the, it, the pendulum is going all the way to, oh, it can create an yeah. essay for me. It can write this. It can write that. Because it was already here. It just kept it, it kept advancing. My, um, the house thermostat. Mm-hmm. So I used to manually cut it off in the morning and put it at a certain uh, temperature. Now yeah. I don't even have to touch it. So around at a certain period of time when we get up, I look at the set point. It's set to seventy eight instead of seventy four. So it, it oh, cuts oh yeah. it yeah. cuts off Auto. by itself. Yeah. And it knows when we're not home. Right. Wow. We all, it just keeps that pattern. It, mm-hmm. it, it's, yeah. it's crazy, yeah. Hmm. I also use chat GPT. Give y'all a little little bit of my secrets. It ain't got me no money. Well, no, nah, I got that brand deal because of you. But <laughs> brand deals. <laughs> If you tell Jet, don't tell chats, him. Tell me first. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm telling everybody, everybody out He's there. Like, we got, Damn it. we got to share, share, share it to the world. Tell Chat GPT uh-huh. to write you a brand deal or a pitch to a brand, mm-hmm. and it will oh. easily just. I, I've done it with certain people that I know, and it just break it down, yeah. and it does it perfectly yeah uh, yeah and you know you can just use that yeah. listen and it email that to hi- what's crazy is versus hiring somebody to do it to do that for you the well the thing is yeah, is that saying. no here's the thing <laughs> it can only give you the ideas it can't do the execution of any of the ideas oh, right, right right and it's hard to get somebody who has the expertise in as many of the areas that you might be wanting to yeah. ask questions in but yeah it helped me come up i want to have a have an ebook by the end of the year it helped me come up Nice. With the the structure of the ebook based off of what I was like, this is what I want uh-huh. the book to be able to offer, and it helped me kind of organize the thoughts that I gave it. Swear. You could have mm. used it to uh, book the flights in the hotel. Yeah, it could have. It definitely could have given me the best itinerary. Yeah, for us to be able to. I still would have put in the wrong I have information. To play with this thing. I have not been on there. Oh, yeah. I have. I don't be yeah. on there. I see people like freaking out about it. Um, like oh AI AI. I'm like. This is like the television all over again. It's going to make people zombies. Now we got TVs in our cars, on our phones. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. The, the thing about it is, what's, <laughs> where's the future when it comes to like um, children writing essays and doing yeah. research and just being able to put their thoughts on paper? Well, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, it's to me, it's going to minimize that creativity because you're not... You're not brainstorming. The the computer yeah. is doing the brainstorming. So just how when we grew up, we knew 15 phone numbers like this. Oh, Mike number. Boom, boom, yeah. boom, boom. My number. Boom. Right now, you probably don't know your wife's yeah. phone. I know your phone. I about to say, you I better know, know mine. Yeah. She I said, don't play. Oh, you want me to say it to prove it? Say it. <laughs> <laughs> five, 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 five. <laughs> <laughs> so, but knowing, I mean, just from that example, we used to use our brains like like that but yeah. now so we don't it's the same like my mama she's still like it like mama she don't even save the number to her phone she just looks at the numbers yeah, like oh well, so and so all like yeah. have me i'm like mom just put their name in there but what's crazy is we're thinking from the standpoint of our stamp in time and our generation yeah. because right now these kids will never know a world without a touch screen yep but the stuff that they learn and know, like, the stuff that these twins know when they get on these things, I have no clue yeah. about the stuff that they're doing. And granted, they're not using their brain the same way we had to to remember a number, but mm-hmm. we didn't use our brain the same way our parents had to when they going out of town and got to figure their way around the country that they've yeah. never Paper been to maps. or state. The Paper same. maps. Show no. That's Show somebody a map right now. Where are you and where do you need to go? Yeah. They wouldn't be able to do it. And Thank the thing you. about it is, I think that the more we embrace the change and then encourage your children to become experts at it versus rejecting it, you actually mm. become further ahead. Because to that point, when you're like anti, this is a gen- massive generalization and, and I'm going extreme, but if you're anti-technology, right, because you should be using your brain and making sure you know how to do a a cursive letter when the world 
and the uh, and technology is advancing in such a way that instead of prioritizing doing a cursive letter, knowing what keywords to put into a chat GPT search engine so that you can do things in an efficient way, if you reject that because you want to prioritize cursive letters, you're going to make your children be behind and you, know, you yourself go will the be way behind. Of, go the way of Blockbuster. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Netflix and Hulu and Disney Plus, and you know what I'm saying? Like that becomes the way, but because you're holding on to your your experience in what was important, yes. you're painting, uh, putting this emphasis and importance on something that has just become aged out is my point. <laughs> Listen, the audience will the be cameras. okay with a little <laughs> wobble here and there. <laughs> Listen, I, you know, I read an article recently that said that asking your kids what they want to be when they grow up mm -hmm. is no longer an actual um, important question to ask because, as we can see, jobs mm -hmm. are now being automated. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the fact that we now put the the even the tag on our own luggage Child. was something that no one ever thought we were going to be doing and then it was introduced in 2021 and now we are the and ones now we do it doing it and i hate it so they said the better question to ask because of the the use of technology and how fast technology is moving it's only picking up more speed uh -huh. is what problem do you want to solve amen in the I world like that because that's what technology is supposed to be here to do it's actually here mm. to solve problems yeah um and so obviously when it comes to like something like chat gpt it's about making knowledge more accessible mm. to more people uh -huh. where uh before for instance we are all entrepreneurs up here and i would say the at least the three of you all definitely never thought of yourselves sitting in the seats that y'all are in today. Absolutely right? not. Mm, absolutely and right. and I, I, neither did I think I was going to be a podcaster. So when you have people that are darn near first generations in what they're doing, yep. there is already a deficit 100%. to someone who comes from a family that is generationally yes. been doing something. Mm. So there's like this, like if you're thinking of it as a race, we're coming out of the blocks really slow 100%. because we're having to learn a bunch of stuff before we can become a Efficient. Yeah. Where Chat GPT is like, and now you might not be still coming out of the blocks as fast as someone whose grandmother and father uh, did this industry or yeah. whatever, but I can speed you up a lot more than what you could have been because I can give you a wealth of knowledge uh -huh. on how to execute. I remember, I didn't know how we were supposed to put together our podcasting equipment. I had random mics that were not <laughs> podcasting mics. Um, I was just plugging in things into the computer. You should have seen our headphones. You should, it <laughs> it was, was just the most random set. <laughs> we didn't know what we were doing. Yeah, and it would have been very difficult for me to find the exact right answers on Google. And I did still use Google to even figure out. I was like, how do I get it up on podcast? Like, yeah. how do I get people to hear it? I yeah. know how to record it. Now, how do <laughs> other people hear this? Where I had Chat GPT existed in twenty sixteen when we started this. It would have given me a detailed mm -hmm. outline based off of the equipment that I had, yep. based off of the audience that we already had, like, connection to. Um, so it kind of levels the the playing field for yeah. people. Yeah. I don't know what my point was, but I talked a lot, so I'll yeah, shut up. Did. No, that was good, though. Check <laughs> GPT is sits there some things off, and it's going to keep growing. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. another There's step. Benefits. It's just another stepping stone, another uh period in time yeah what do you mean automatic transmission you're supposed to shift the gears yourself <laughs> yeah <laughs> for real it's just yeah. another stepping stone yeah fascinating well moving on so also we we had the flooding the chat gpt we got uh the government telling us they have unhuman bodies you know Mm. Oh, the aliens! You, Look, UFOs. I'm doing Look, a. I'm not a lawyer, but on that because I was watching the hearing. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you saving that for your episode of that? No, I need to uh, to, to get not, dive into yes, it. Oh, yes, okay. Because okay. there was so many um, witnesses at that hearing who uh -huh. were testifying, and some of it was boring. But I, it was just a lot. I didn't. I didn't know. Yeah, it just was a lot. Yeah. Go ahead, Goose. My thing about all of this is there's a camera. Every, there's cameras everywhere. Everybody has cameras on them at all times. Why, is, why isn't there any just footage of, like, 
look what I'm looking uh-huh. at right now. Uh-huh. It's all this. See this light coming from the yes, sky, it is. supposedly crashing in somebody's backyard. There's no crater in the backyard. Yeah. But these uh, beams were eight feet tall. If y'all don't know what I'm talking about, this resident in California was working on his vehicle. A shooting star supposedly shot from the sky, or some object was very bright. Meteor. Yeah. Meteor hit in their backyard. He runs back there and he sees two eight feet tall beans that's that he didn't film yeah. the police was like oh shit move go yeah. go i think he saw us <laughs> you know how they be running on their team <laughs> tyrone go, yeah. go. <laughs> so this happens and then they call the police the police come matter of fact on the police dash cam the light that yeah. hit the back of these pre- people's yard is seen like you mm-hmm. see this light come mm-hmm. down yeah. but there's N- nothing in their backyard. It, there's like yeah. using it's, common sense. Yeah, you know. Um, this baby. It, yeah, it's just crazy. <laughs> it's cr- and then on top of that, you have the AI situation where you can manipulate anything right. on your screen. Yeah. They can show you anything. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that's that's all I got to say, man. It's just yeah. it's what? everything is just crazy. Kai Kai. Nah, she's she, she daddy she's talking to him <laughs> now for, for me it's like like we kind of hit on this a little bit do i believe there's other life in other places absolutely this universe is way too enormous to think we it mm-hmm. way too vast my thing is if there's other uh life forms that i have traveled to this planet they're more intelligent than us mm. mm. they're more intelligent than the government <laughs> if they do know about these life forms they know that Cause we ain't found nothing else, mm. but they have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm they don't found nothing. And the way and the reason I uh, don't fully believe what they're saying is because it's hard to escape the the imagination of what you only know. Mm. Yeah. Every alien, every spaceship has lights. The only reason we have lights for spacecrafts is be- or for any aero type of anything that flies is for aviation, so you can see it. Mm. If something is traveling to another another planet and wants to be undetected, it ain't going to put lights on it. (laughs) (laughs) That's true. Two, the other thing is, this is how I always know it's coming from somebody else's, another human's imagination of what they would think an alien would look like. Everything walks on two feet. Mm -hmm. Everything has two arms. Everything has one head. Has a humanoid face. Why would you think something in a completely different, we got things in the ocean that don't look nothing like us. Mm -hmm. You eat things, nothing that you eat looks like you. So why is something coming from another galaxy or whatever looking something like you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. In everybody's eyes. Like, er- everybody that says they've seen something, oh, it walked this way? Why ain't it floating? <laughs> why is it not lighter than air and it's swimming through the air like fish swim mm. through water? Yeah. That's good. That play you, why, why is our oxygen the same as their oxygen? Fish have gills. Right. right. Mm. This is what I, there's, who's the black dude that, that would Milk, make me? Yeah. <laughs> Neil deGrasse Tyson, who I can't watch him for too long because I'll have a panic attack. He is like this. What, what would his title be? Like an he's, he's a, a, a uh, astrologist, or he's like a just a brilliant. He's a genius. Yeah, he's uh-huh. a scientist. He's a yeah. He's like a state champion in wrestling too. You talking about oh, that wow. black guy with the little fro? Yeah, yes, yeah. yeah, crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's an extremely intelligent right. dude. So he was breaking down um, kind the astrophysicist. of Thank you. That oh. makes sense. Thank it's, you, JB. It's, I was like, sound, it's something that sounds like I could never be it. Um, he was breaking down our reality, right? And the way he did it was, it's hard for me. To, I'm going to try my best to describe it. I use this. So he was using like a paper plane, uh, like a, a plain piece of paper. Uh-huh. Mm. And he drew like a little bitty circle right here. And he was like, this is our understanding of like, the universe in the world right what we can see is right here what we don't realize is that there's a whole ball behind here Mm. and we're only seeing the little Uh beginning Mm. dot and as you begin to push it through you see oh there's so much that i'm not uh even seeing he was even breaking down like how time exists to us versus how time would exist further off in the universe Mm -hmm. so it's what basically i understood from what he was saying is we only understand the rationale behind what we can see. Mm-hmm. 
in anything behind the piece of paper that hasn't like pushed through into our reality girl we can't even fathom yep like how much we don't understand so that's how like you said how we get all these yeah. like Every time we think of aliens, it is based off of how we perceive ourselves right, and right. what we understand. So to your point of there's all these cameras, maybe they have they are beings that can't be captured yeah. by the technology mm. that we have, yeah. which yeah. then even would make like, me have a even panic like attack. Bees. Bees, <laughs> they've proven that bees see light differently from us. They see colors we don't see. Oh, wow. mm. So imagine what we don't see. Right. Uh, and somebody, this is, and look, look, I'm a Christian. Somebody says, so there's a alien Bible in what God created in six days. I'm not so going there this there episode. An alien Bible of what I'm God created. I'm not going cre- there this episode. <laughs> I'm not going to go there. Hilarious. Because even in the Bible, when it said he created, you know, and rest yeah. on the seventh, what's to say that when God created everything, that a day was 24 hours? We created the 24 hour calendar, not God. <laughs> I ain't going there this episode. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's, that's good. Yes. They're gonna have me thinking. Yes. It, Dogs can't see colors, right? They can't yeah. see colors. It's they can crazy. see depth. Mm. The reason they see in black and white is because they can easily differentiate things at night because uh-huh. they derive from wolves. Don't get. I'm a geek. I told y'all that. Go ahead. No, you're right. Tell me that. Valid points. Oh, I thought you was about to say something. Mm-mm. Okay. Uh, yes, you are a geek. I agree with you on that. Oh, you ass boy. Uh, Greg was just talking about. Go ahead. Go ahead. But there's nothing wrong with being a geek. A Absolutely geek? Okay. not. Don't I wish I used as it as an insult. I wish I used it in school. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Like, I don't care nothing about I wouldn't this. be sitting here for did. I'd be like, well, you know, <laughs> my creations and inventions. Um, also, um, your boy, what's his name? What's the prince? Um, Harry. Harry. Okay. And, it, and it's Megan. Megan. They came out. 23 right and they started spilling everything when that this year uh, was that this oh, year that was book? last year i thought but well, is this book though come out this year the book might have came out this year uh, oh when they talked then i think they, that's him spilling they knew their family was racist <laughs> she knew she knew it and he knew it yeah uh, the crown, oh, oh. we just lost internet Sorry. the crown jews all that was stolen from africa oh every well everything been stolen from yeah africa. yeah and they yeah. Ain't, they still okay, got it flip it the back. No, baby. No, turn it Shit, around y'all. so where your hand is. No, not That's, your hand is on the back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great you episode. See, you see what I'm you're so doing, Kai Kai? <laughs> Kai Kai. I knew it was going to happen. Back. I was Go like, sit down. <sighs> Go sit down. Thank you. My little terrorist. No. Thank you. Jeez. Thank you. Sit down. <laughs> you're the best. Before I come the over there. Why you have threatened a baby? Yeah. Why she you gone, she got to learn. She's just the am- most amazing. Oh, uh, What else happened? I said the war in Ukraine, but I think all that is just. It's all political. Yeah. Yes. Did you want. see where uh, Russia is helping Africa okay. separate uh, the, from like the gas and pipelines that the U.S. is trying to run through there? Yes, and they're giving. I'm gonna do some more research on that because I ain't fully researched. And they're giving, uh, Russia's giving their people and people in Africa money mm-hmm. to start growing food. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They surely are and crazy. Things ain't them always grain what they well. seem, y'all. Granted, oh. I ain't saying the Russia's up to all good either, but the U.S. definitely ain't. <laughs> so, I don't know how deep this goes. We're gonna I, research it. We're gonna talk about. It. Go ahead. Uh, the fires in Maui in yep. Hawaii. Mm-hmm. These fires happened in Hawaii, and uh, the residents said that their water were cut off, was mm-hmm. cut off, so they couldn't use their water hoses to to wow to put out the fires. Also, uh, real estate uh, gurus and um, wealthy individuals have been um, trying to buy certain parts of Maui. Right, mm. and the villagers, the 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 tribes there, or whatever, who have the right to the land. They they're not selling, and they're like, this is how they're getting. I they're gonna get that. it. Like they, I can definitely. If you that. go look and research this, the part of Maui that burnt looked like the atomic bomb dropped. Mm-hmm. One of our uh, friends' sister was in one of the houses that uh, got burnt to smithereens. She got out of the house a couple of minutes before. She, the, so apparently, which doesn't make any sense, it, they said the fire started because of hurricanes. 
Oh, that that's, makes absolutely no sense. That. that is what, yeah. You ain't never seen uh, hurricanes. No, 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 that's no, no, what no. The winds of the hurricanes got up to 70 miles per hour, which Caught fueled the, the fire to spread as fast. Which is also BS because anytime winds are, winds in hurricanes are followed by rain. <laughs> well, regardless, we don't think of, when we think of Hawaii, we do not think and of it's hurricanes. Dry. Yeah, in Hawaii. Usually dry. stuff. Out in California, burns from high winds because it's so dry. Yeah, it's humid over there. Yeah, but um, she was saying, um, she was saying that that yeah, the water was cut off, and I'm I think the water was cut off before the fires because yeah. of the mm-hmm. the hurricane. But that house was burnt down. I'm talking about there are not even the studs to the house gone, ashes, yeah. and the alarm. That's why I was saying the alarm that she was supposed to hear, like the the because I was just like how. How did she get out so late? She all of a sudden woke up, looked out the window, and all she could see was black smoke coming mm-hmm. to towards the house. Dang. Yeah, so here's the thing with, uh, like, high winds and power lines being down. Power lines co- blow down all the time in the Midwest. They don't cause no fires because it's not dry enough. Mm. You spark, it burns the ground right where it's at, but mm. there is no billowing and building fire like it is out here in these dry states, Arizona, California, Australia, because it's dry, it's brush. Yeah. So you throw a cigarette out, it's not going to burn a field somewhere where it's humid because that grass is green. That those that's the living plants. Out here it's a different story. Yeah. So that's why I'm not buying the whole the winds cause the fire in Hawaii because I've been there. Everything is green and it's hot. We ain't never yeah. been to Maui, but I ain't yeah, been to I'm Maui, sure but that island is the all the same islands. Um <laughs> uh, I just crazy. And you know, your old girl Oprah has just purchased like 86 acres or Oprah 200. burning Maui. I'm just <laughs> 800 and something acres. Is that acres? what you're implying? That she burned no, it? No, 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 no. Where did no, she no. buy no. 800 and something acres at? In the, in the place in Maui. In Maui. Yes. It's the the area where they're trying to develop. She is, She owns land out there along with the area where people are trying to buy these people out of their homes. But she the, said, they the, said she was out there helping. I don't know none of this. Okay, well, g- hopefully she's helping. Hopefully, yeah. And what yeah, I read, she, she has bought, she's bought land, mm-hmm. but hopefully she's helping. I'm not accusing was, the lady of anything. Oh, I'm, no. I'm just she... letting you all know what I've read mm-hmm. and that they're trying to build uh, luxury resorts and luxury homes out there. Mm-hmm. And the people there are like, no. We're not selling I mean, our land, and they're trying to stay together, and they just literally tried to burn these people up out of their places. And Biden sent them seven hundred dollars. I said, "Oh no, seven hundred. Yes. Oh, he, he did. He sent the families, each family affected by the fire, seven hundred dollars. Seven hundred dollars. Well, oh. each family, US. but sent three hundred billion to Ukraine. Boom. Oh yeah. This man sent, I think it's one point three million to Maui. For mm-hmm. all those people, and sent three hundred billion, billion to, to Ukraine, Ukraine. We and own. weapons. We but we got the weapons. My wife still got student loans, man. Come on, I got a bunch of them. Come got on, a bunch of goddamn student loans. Pay them bills all before they be taking care of everybody else. They oh, be yeah. in everybody else's but business, but I own. Yeah, that own craziness. But that's all. Uh, yeah, that's some of the few you know some all of the right. things that been happening in 2023 <laughs> all right y'all so we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up because andrew got stuff to do and kai about to burn the office down oh, yeah, I'm about to be late. so uh thank y'all for tuning in we greatly appreciate you y'all want goose you want to go on let everybody know where they can find yes, you yes you can catch me on uh ig g double o l z b y building with goose on youtube um i got to start putting up some more content um then on the uh, tour, people have encouraged me to put up more content because they say I've been helping them fix sinks, toilets, uh, ranges, all type of stuff. I in love house. your content, so, Goose. Put yeah, up more. I got to. But see, in order for me to do that, I'm almost going to have to break down this house to the studs to have more content. I can't do that. So hey. I got to figure it out. How to, how to. I got to figure that out. There's stuff you can do. Mm-hmm. That you don't understand. Even the small stuff is helping. All right, let's move on. Let's move on. Go ahead. Me. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at you've got mail y o u v e g t m e l. Also on YouTube at you've got mail. You can find me on the TikTok at I'm not a lawyer, but. Mm. And I think that's where I be. 
And Gin and Juice. And I have a podcast with Miss Kev on stage called Gin and Juice. It's on her YouTube channel, Miss Kev on stage. You can call y'all Cousin it's Gin. <laughs> <There we go. laughs> it's a good time. It sounds like a liquor for real. Mm -hmm. You can find me at That Chick Angel pretty much all, across all platforms besides Twitter, which I only use to complain to companies. And I am at, uh, at Angel the Actress on Twitter. You can stream my song of the summer, whoop, whoop. One Margarita. There are three versions out right now. The OG version, which has over 10 million streams. The uh, Saucy Remix, which has over 3 million streams. And then the newest, the Ladies Remix with... Sexy Red, Flo Millie, and Fendi the Rapper. Stream all of them. Yes. Play them on, your, on, on Tuesdays or Mondays. I don't care. Just play the song. <laughs> um, and you can check out me and Marcus's podcast. Is this going to cause an argument on That's Your Angel TV? And here's the thing on Kev on stage. Uh, I think it's on Studios. He's got so many channels. Amen. It's on one of them. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> hey, y'all can find me on Instagram, Marcus on the gram, Facebook at Marcus Ain't on the book, TikTok at Tank Don't Talk. Y'all can find my building body butter called Man Shit. You can go to M A N S H Y T dot com. And if you're listening, you can watch this on YouTube, Tanksley TV. Let us tell it. And if you're watching, you can also listen to this across all uh, podcast streaming platforms. So make sure you check that out. And I like, subscribe, and share, and all that jazz on uh, YouTube and rate and review if you're listening on whatever you're listening to it on. And well, don't forget to tell them you're this close to 100,000 uh, followers oh yeah, on Instagram. All, I'm, very, I'm like yes. uh, 1,800 away, I think, from 100,000. That's amazing. Um, so, hey, check out your boy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, so go over and follow everybody and all that jazz. Until oh, next, or oh, what? I also want to say thank you for everybody for bringing, up, bringing out the uh, great energy at these um, uh, the Ball oh, Brothers the tour. Y'all coming up to the merch table, making me feel great about myself. <laughs> I highly appreciate it. And if you want to say something to me, say something to me. I'm I'm very friendly. You did. See, thank you. We, yeah, we not friendly. friendly. Yeah. Uh, and we got some artwork, but we're gonna reveal at the next episode. Oh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, we're gonna do it. Do it next episode. Tenfold. Tenfold. Absolutely. Anyway, till next time, y'all holla back, fam.